What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back in again with another video. So we gotta talk about what happened on this Friday night SmackDown. Shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream reactions. You guys are always amazing. We did do a live stream on the end of Clutch page, on the main YouTube page, and on our Twitch Clutch Going Gaming as well. So shout out to everyone that was in both the streams tonight. But yeah, we gotta talk about what's really going on here. There's potential multiple storylines happening at one time. The most noticeable thing was Cody Rhodes being in Nick Aldis' office at the beginning of the show. It was like a, a quick frame second of Nick Aldis being in, uh, about to go into his office after talking to um, Bianca, Shotzi, and Charlotte to find their fourth member for the women's war games and need to find it by the end of the night. And as you open up the door or whatnot, Nick Aldis is having a meeting potentially, well, a meeting with Cody Rhodes. So there was something going on. We don't know what that meeting was. We don't know what conversation was being had, but it definitely brought some speculation throughout the show. So we get to the solo Sokoa. Paul Heyman and Jimmy Uso segment and Paul Heyman is basically trolling at this point and it was fantastic he's basically talking about what Solo did to John Cena they showed a, a very uh, emotional package of John Cena being packed up by Solo Sokoa before they even came out there and pretty much Paul Heyman was just hyping up Solo as he should he Essentially saying John Cena will never return in a WWE ring ever again. Kind of like a setup to get John Cena to come out there. And I like what he said after he said those words. Because usually when people say John Cena will never come back out here ever again. John Cena is done. We have we finished off John Cena and then you would hear John Cena's music. And even Paul Heyman made a reference to that. He's like, you see, this is how you know things are serious. Because normally John would come out here. You would hear that. <laughs> you know, you would hear that. And he comes out here and everyone's going crazy. He hits the five moves of doom on everybody. But that didn't happen. Want to know why? Because of Solo. John Cena's not coming back. John Cena is done. And if he does come back, he would have to fight Solo again. Because he's John Cena. And if he doesn't, that doesn't make him John Cena. And I, I love what they were doing there. This is basically a promo to hype up Solo as this unstoppable force for destroying John Cena, as they should. So essentially, per storyline-wise, so far, Solo is the reason John Cena is gone. Some Somewhat semi-retired him. I'm sure John Cena will come back at some point, but Solo retired john cena as of now that's that's basically the story they're going with right so as he's you know hyping up solo that's when la knight comes out there big pop big crowd reaction and basically la knight is saying you know what the only reason why roman is champion it's always because of the bloodline it's because of you guys it's not because of how great roman is it's because he always has y'all help so as long as I'm here on this show, I'm going to make sure I take out the bloodline. And uh, he's supposed to, he was supposed to have a match with Jimmy Uso. So they go to commercial break. When they come back, he's getting, he, you know, LA Knight's in the ring or whatnot with Jimmy. And Jimmy's trying to talk to Paul Heyman and Solo, like, where y'all going? And, and Paul Heyman's like, yo, you got it, you got it. And they just walk to the back. They walk to the back. So, you know, he didn't have no help or backup initially. They have their match. The right person wins here in um, L.A. Knight. L.A. Knight wins the match. And then all of a sudden, you hear Solo's music. You hear Solo music. He comes down to the rampway by himself. Of course, the baby faces always turn their back to the person they just beat up. And he ends up getting attacked from behind by Jimmy, thrown outside the ring. And he eats a Samoan spike from Solo. So now I'm like, uh-oh, this is not good for L.A. Knight. Solo's going to the announce table. He takes off the cover the cover on the announce table, the paperwork, the documents, the monitors, and they about to end L.A. Knight. And all of a sudden, you hear Cody's music hit. Crowd goes crazy. 
Cody takes off his nice suit jacket, runs down the ring, just starts fighting Solo Sokoa. He ends up throwing Solo into the to the to the post, and then L.A. Knight ends up getting his getting his hands on Jimmy Uso, and essentially, L.A. Knight is saved by Cody Rhodes. Now the question is, and this is what's causing some type of conversation. What does this mean for Survivor Series? What does this mean for War Games? Did LA Knight come out, not LA Knight, Cody Rhodes come out there to potentially maybe ask for LA Knight's help at War Games on the baby face side of things? I don't know. We don't know. And what happened after that, after that whole segment with LA Knight and Cody Rhodes standing in the ring together when they came back from commercial break, Pretty much, Nick Aldis was like, yo, now you have to go now. Because I guess he got involved. He's like, all right, I'll leave. So I don't know what, we don't really know what his meeting was. But one thing we do know for sure, this is another time he's gotten involved in bloodline business. He was able to get Jay on Monday Night Raw. Now he stopped Solo and Jimmy from taking out LA Knight. Cody Rose has inserted himself once again back in bloodline business. The question is, what ramifications is that going to have? They are definitely still teasing him trying to finish the story. So we don't know what's happening here. Some of you guys are saying maybe he was talking to Nick Aldis to get Kevin Owens unsuspended for him to help uh, the babyfaces in the War Games match. That can be a thing. Some people still think it's going to be Randy Orton. Who knows? But I do think him being on SmackDown will have some type of imp uh, implications on what's going to happen at War Games. That's the only thing I can think of. So I don't know. I don't know. It could be LA Knight. LA Knight could be like, yo, you helped me out. I got you. I'm going to help you out in War Games. It, that could be a situation. So I don't know. I know some people will be like, oh, well, LA Knight has nothing to do with the Judgment Day. You're right, but Cody just saved him in this situation. So, and if you are to get Randy Orton involved, he has nothing to do with the Judgment Day. And if anything, why would Randy, per storyline, want to even team up with Jay? He has issues with Jay per storyline. Jay and Jimmy were the reasons he got injured on SmackDown when he was on SmackDown, when he was uh, teamed up with Matt Riddle. So, there's a lot of ways this can go. Anyone that Cody gets involved, they're automatically not going to have nothing to do with Judgment Day. So you can kind of throw that reason out the out the window. This is just to help. So it could be LA Knight. It could be it could be uh um Kevin Owens. It could be Randy Orton. And some of y'all think maybe CM Punk. We don't know, and I think that's the best thing about it. We have no real idea. And I am glad for that because it adds that much more intrigue to this War Games match because we don't know where they're going to get the help from. So it's going to be very interesting to see who he's going to pick to help him. Why was he on SmackDown? And once again, Cody Rhodes getting involved in bloodline business. It's going to be very interesting to see. Comment down below. Let me know who do you guys think will be the last member to help uh cody in their war games match do you think it's gonna be la Knight? do you think it's gonna be kevin owens do you still think it's gonna be randy orton or is it possibly somehow <laughs> cm punk who knows let me know who y'all think is gonna be down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young the speed of youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace